Hi everybody, uh, Simon, um, Mr. Full Circle. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick video update because um, there's been a few sort of cryptic uh, tweets I've put up over the last few weeks, month or so. Um, there's been a lot of movement, a lot of developments, um, and I haven't done one of these videos for a while, so I thought it was worth sort of um, giving you an update or giving you as much as I can of an update um, for the simple reason that a lot of this stuff is off the record, hasn't been announced yet, um, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, so really this is just a sort of a, a short video just to sort of clarify what I am allowed to tell you or what we can say. So the first thing above everything else is that the re-release is on, okay? 2023, definitely happening. Um, Blu-ray release, various regions. Um, I, 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 I honestly don't think I was, I'm not sure I ever thought I was actually gonna say those words. Um, you know, obviously I hoped and I tried and I prayed and I worked my ass off and um, I did all the stuff that you guys are sort of aware of in terms of digging and researching and contacting and coming in dead ends, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we're now, what, more than six years since I started this. Um, I first started looking into Full Circle um, or The Haunting of Julia, whatever you want to call it, um, in terms of getting it back out there in September 2016. So, you know, a year or so ago, even earlier this year, did I honestly think we were ever gonna succeed? A big part of me thought no. Um, so the fact that I can actually say yes, uh, is I'm still coming to terms with it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so this is the situation. Uh, we finally, 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 were able to prize the negative from Technicolor's hands. Now, Technicolor had the negative and there was this whole load of legal mumbo jumbo and lawyers and, you know, them panicking about somebody coming forward and suing them because they own the film, you know, etc. So we would gone back and forth. Technicolor would ask us a question. We'd try and get the answer. They would ask us another question. We'd try and get the answer. And we were going back and forth for years with this. Um, and we finally, when I say we, I mean Richard, Peter Fetterman and myself, then brought in um, a fixer, if you like, um, who lives in uh, the States, lives in LA. So was obviously on the doorstep of Technicolor and these lawyers and people. Um, so rather than me trying to do phone calls and email exchanges, we were able to liaise with this fixer um, and he was literally able to turn up on doorsteps or ring people constantly because it wasn't costing him an arm and a leg to do so. So we suddenly, this fixer would come back to me and say, right, they're saying Sony are involved. What documentation do we have on that? I would provide that. They're now saying it's this guy, Julian Melzack and Albion Films. What do we have on that? So I'd provide him all that. And we were able to go back and forth and then literally, this guy, Mark, just contacted us and said, right, we've sort of won. Um, Technicolor are now satisfied. They're giving us the negative, um, which again, it was a very weird feeling because as I say, I don't, part of me, had, a big part of me had resigned myself to that it wasn't gonna happen. And so when you get sort of told it is happening, part of you still thinks, is it really, really? You know, is it, is it, <laughs> you know, I don't want to get too excited and jump the gun, um, but we have it. We have the negative. Um, it is currently at a studio here in London because uh, that's where the negative was. It was just the legal people we had to deal with were in LA, but the negative was in the UK. Um, and so we have the negative. It is at a studio. Um, it is being quality checked at the moment because it's obviously... It's 1978, um, so they need to check on the quality of it. And assuming it passes the quality check, then 
it heads to the restoration um, phase and that is where Richard will come into play um, Peter Hannan cinematographer will come into play because they are going to oversee this restoration hopefully 4k restoration um, in London um, they've invited me along when that happens that's likely to be November December when that takes place um, and so that is where we are at at the moment um, companies are on board for release um, I cannot I'm not allowed to tell you who and I'm not allowed to tell you when but suffice to say they are good companies that are going to do a very good job on the releases when they come out next year um, there's going to be you know a, an American release a UK release other releases etc but I which I can't go into detail on um, I am involved in those releases which is fantastic um, in fact, I think for the American release, I'm being classed as associate producer um, for the special features um, because obviously I've, you know, got all the contacts and I can bring in the Tom Contes and the, you know, Colin Townses, you know, to, to take part in the special features. Um, so a lot is happening at the moment. A lot of that stuff is some of that special features content was already recorded uh, the weekend just gone. Um, I'm going to be involved in stuff doing like locations stuff and, uh, and, and so it's unbelievably exciting. Um, I'm still trying to keep a lid on it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, it's part of my psyche I suppose, um, which is why Full Circle appeals to me in the first place because I'm quite a, um, a not a, pes a cynical person maybe. Um, uh, part of me is still thinking, could this still go wrong? <laughs> Um, even though I don't think it could now um, because we have the negative and uh, and the special features are being recorded so the thing is fully fully in swing um, so yeah that's where we're at I mean I, I don't think the actual releases are going to be announced in terms of who's doing it what the special features are you know it's blah, blah, blah until next early next year probably so as I say, there isn't a tre tremendous amount I can say without getting myself into trouble, which I obviously don't want to do that <laughs> and risk my involvement. <laughs> but um, there's the news, guys. You know, the, it, is, it is definitely happening. It will definitely be happening in the first part of next year. Um, the releases are going to be great because the people I've been talking with, you know, the companies involved are good companies who will do a very good job with these releases so it's it's everything we wanted really um quality releases restoration nice special features giving the film the credit it deserves and that you guys have hopefully been looking forward to as much as me so um that's the update that's where we're at it is all positive it is all exciting and uh yeah i mean as soon as we're allowed to tell you more or that I can show you more, um, I'll do so. So thanks for watching this. Um, thanks for supporting the quest so far. And bloody buy it when it comes out. <laughs> so thanks very much, guys. And I'll, I'll speak to you soon.